Yes. So, did you understand this method? Yes, sir. Did you understand this method? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Right. Now, coming to the next concept of this one. Does the sponge be a sponge? You see, the answer here. So, where is this piece of sponge? Okay, now listen to me. So this is here you see. So based on this, based on this, um, okay. So this is based on this. It's a rule of thumb. There is a practical application that is Wheatstone Bridge. Okay. So this is about Wheatstone Bridge. This is you know, you know the Wheatstone Bridge. Okay. So this is like in the Wheatstone Bridge. What happens over here? So look at this. There will be four resistors, and these four resistors are taken in a systematic way. These four resistors are taken in a systematic way, like this. Okay, there are four resistors which are taken in this way. Okay, so this is this is A and this is B over here. So in between these two things, so one galvanometer we will be attaching because the galvanometer also offers some resistance. So what about the galvanometer that you are going to take? That even this galvanometer also takes okay, also carries some okay resistance. Now these two things you will be connecting. So to the power source of the energy this is this is the power source. This is the power source, right? This is the power source. Okay. Now this is the um, this is voltage peak of here. Now this is here. What happens so the moment you switch on? So, so switch on. What happens? The electric current will be passing like this in this way. The electric current will be passing like this. Okay. So let I amperes of current be passing through this in this direction. Now get A. Electric current splits. Okay, this is the resistance P, this is the resistance Q, this is the resistance R, this is the resistance S. Right? This is the galvanometer. Okay, now through this uh, some amount of current goes and through this some amount of current goes. The current which passes through this resistance, that is P. So there is I1 you say, the electric current which is passing through this, that is I2 you say. The moment I1 comes over here, again I1 splits because of I1. This point becomes a junction. At this junction, begin splitting of the electric current in hands. Okay, so through this electric current I3 passes and through this electric current IG, I say. So, which is called current passing through the galvanometer. Current passing through the galvanometer. But it, okay, so IG will be coming this side and at the same time I2 will be coming in this direction. Okay, this I2 and IG, both the things will combine together. Okay, that's here. At this point, all the things will come back. Then, in the form of I4, electric current passes. Now, through this Q, I3 is coming this side, and here I4 is coming this side. Again, I3 and I4 both will combine together, and in the form of I, electric current reaches the negative equilibrium of the battery. So, this is what, okay, so that's what happens in the Wheatstone's bridge. Okay, so there's a, in this brief sense of bridge, so there are two conditions. So one is a balanced stage, okay, unbalanced stage. Balanced state means what do you say? What do you mean by balanced state? So through this galvanometer, no current passes. Okay, so this again you see if at all current passing through the galvanometer becomes zero, which means IG is equal to zero. If this IG is equal to zero, okay, then what happens in this complete path we can avoid. Okay, so when no current passes through this, okay, so the potential drop across these two, okay, also will be zero. That means this complete path can be avoided. By the point, okay, so then, okay, so this here, these two things will be how? So you see, this will be P over here, this will be Q over here, this will be R over here, this will be S over here, this is avoided, okay, so this is one terminal, this is one more terminal. Then these two things will be using this combination. Even these two things will be using this combination. But okay, so this is here. This is the parallel combination. 
Okay, so this and this. So these two things are in parallel. How much? So directly, this we can apply that and we can. Okay, find out. We can find out. But it coming to okay. So if at all, it is not balanced. Balanced means what? When will the current passing through the galvanometer be zero? The current passing through the galvanometer will be zero when the ratio, which is P by Q and R by S. So this ratio becomes equal. When P by Q or R by S. Otherwise, okay, P into S, R into Q. Okay, opposite. The resistance values you need to multiply. When these two products have become equal, okay, so then the bridge can be said as balancing. But, it, but don't think that always this type of balancing happens. Always this type of balancing happens. But the matter, so he said that the difference of the bridge is not balanced. The is sometimes according to the given values, then you check like this. So here P by Q is not equal to R by S. When P by Q is not equal to R by S, then what happens? Then you have to go for Kirchhoff's mass. Then you need to go for Kirchhoff's mass. For both the methods, you need to be ready. For both the methods, you need to be ready. But it, so in the okay, that's again. So that's the case. These okay problems. How will they be asked? So this what about the bridge I have shown? This is the actual bridge formation. But problems will not be asked like this. Okay, so problem will be like this. Here you see. So this is one resistance, and this is one resistance, and this is one resistance. Okay, now in between these two things, okay, one resistance will be here. In between these two things, one more resistance will be here. So this is the way. Okay, so overall in that Wheatstone's bridge, how many resistances will be? Five resistances. In that case, also five resistances will be. Right, but the thing is, you need to identify what is what. Okay, so usually you get this here. You see, so we need to begin from this point. Okay, so this this point, let this point be okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. So the second point B, the point B will be here. Okay. So this again, you see, this is C and D. You take. This is C and D. You take. Okay. So that C will be nothing but here, and D will be nothing but down here. This. Right. Now between A and B, between A and D, there is a resistance. What will be the resistance of this? What is that R? Between B and D. Okay, there is one resistance over here. What is that? Yes. This will be S. Okay, between A and C, there is one resistance. What is that? This is P. Okay, so between C and B, B and C, so the resistance of Q is here. That will be Q over here. Right? Between C and D, so this is the resistance. Okay, galvanometer. So galvanometer resistance will be present over here. Yes. Galvanometer resistance will be present over here. Yes. Okay, so in that formation, problem will be given. Okay, so this is that the formation you need to convert into this formation. While converting that formation into this formation, okay, so which is P, which is Q, where is P, where is Q, where is R, where is S, you must have the idea. You must have the idea. But again, so like this, and put it aside, the problems will be asked. But again, Okay, now <clears throat> what we have to do is uh, okay, in both the things uh, I will okay, this, uh, so make you work out the problems. Uh, okay, two problems, two problems. Okay, so here you see, look at this. I will give you one situation, I will give you one situation. Like this, like this. okay. See, this is okay. So, this is um, four ohm. Okay, so this is um, okay. So this is A form. Okay. This is uh, five form. This is five 
this is the 10 ohm, this is the 20 ohm. So this is one situation. The second situation is okay. Okay. So this is one ohm. This is a three ohm. This is a two ohm. This is a five ohm. This is a ten ohm. Okay. Now, in both the cases, what you have to do is uh, you need to calculate the current passing through each resistor. Come on, come on. Usually, we come across only two situations in this case. Okay. So, for model one problem, I have to do. Okay. For model one problem, I have to do. Of this meter bridge. Next one is swimming. Now potentials. When the current is known, potential automatically becomes better. Now we just put a year. Current through each resistance. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes. So this is B and this is B. So potential between B this is B. And here this is P and this is Q. Potential across P Q is equal to four. Potential across P Q is four. Okay. Yes, Ola? First one is Ola? Yes. Ah. Two by thirty three. Two by thirty three. Across this, how much? Five by six. Five by six. Five by sixty-six. Ah, and here. Okay. Ah. Yes. Across this. No current. Okay. Across this. So here zero and here. Okay. Across this. Two by thirty-three. Two by thirty-three and here. Okay. Across this. 
five by it's it's, it's, it's uh, ampere. Okay, so did you also calculate the potential across each capacitor? Oh, sorry, across each resistor. Yes. Not again. Huh? Just check that it's another means that the balance condition is being put that much. Huh? Same thing? Different act? Eh? Okay. Different thing. So he's telling. Different answers. Mm -hmm. How much means same answers? Different answer? Eh? But yeah, so yeah. So different. Eh? So how much can we work? Eh? 10, 5 ohm. Yes. Trust me. Total, total means all, all the systems you didn't do. Then what did you do? Uh, okay, this a, that will be same now. Same correct. For uh, upside means uh, okay, five ohm and ten ohm. Am I correct? Am I correct? Five ohm, ten ohm. You know, sir, bridge is getting damaged down there. Okay, uh, then what happens, sir? Okay, that's so a 20 ohm becomes ineffective. Then 20 ohm becomes ineffective. Okay, so 5 ohm and 10 ohm, that's what will be in the series. Same current. Ultimately, there's two types of currents you will be getting. So, given this one also has told there's two types of currents. One is a 2 by 33, and the second one is a 5 by 66. Sure. And what are your currents? What is the value that you got? Okay, na na. So here you see, for these two things, the same current. No. How much have you calculated there? Two by three, two by three and one by three. Ah. Okay. So two by three. Two by three means the class of the upper one, upper one, upper one, lower one. Ah, upper. Okay. So ten ohm. For these two. Okay. So for four ohm. 8 ohm, 1 by 3, huh? huh? 1 by 3, okay, Akresh? Huh? 2 by 5, huh? 4 and 8, 1 by 2, okay, so this is here, tell your answer, so I will write over here, huh? Ah, two by five. Two by five. Ah, this one by two. One by two. Okay. So this one. Okay. There are three sets of answers. So all the three sets are different. All the three sets are different. Okay. So this one. Let me work it out. Let me work it out. Okay. First, this one. So current we will work out first. Okay. So look at this. Here you see. Ah, all the remaining dulls. So this So look at the water. Try to understand how I am taking. So this is the actual situation given in the problem. In this actual situation, 5 ohm, 20 ohm, 10 ohm, 4 ohm, 
kalong gate. Okay, next. Okay, first you fix up the points. This is A and B. Right? Now this is C and D. A, B, C, D. Okay. Between A and B, A and D, one distance. Between A and C, one distance. Okay. So A and the C. Look at this. A. Right? Okay. So this is A and the C. One distance. Okay. Point C. Next A and D. One resistance. This is D. Between A and C, five. Between A, okay, and D, this. A and D, five. And A and C, four. Understood? Yes or no? Yes or no? Girls. Understood? Okay. Between A and the C, 4 ohm. Between A and D, 5 ohm. Like that, we have to. Think and we have to draw the figure at the time of exam. Okay. Next, look at this. Between C and D. Between C and D. C and D. 20 ohm. Okay. What else? Between B and D. B, D. There is a point B to take here. B, D. Between B and D, 10 ohm. Between B and C, 8 ohm. The answer is different. How much? Ah. This is 0.5R. This is 0.4. Okay. So let me check it out. Okay. So this is this one bridge given. Okay. Now there's a potential between A B. Potential between A B is 6 volt. Means. Potential across A B is 6 volt. 6 volt. Right? Okay. Now let's look at this here. 4 by this. 4 by this. 5 by 10. So these two ratios are same. This by this, P by Q, R by S. When P by Q is equal to R by S, bridge is said to be in the balancing stage. Okay. When the bridge is balanced, no current flows through this 20 ohm resistance. No current flows through this 20 ohm resistance. And then what happens automatically? This becomes ineffective. So we can ignore. We can ignore. We can remove this part and we can redraw. So that's in the way. So what happens? A to B, single branch. Like this. Okay. So this is a four ohm. This is A. Right? Next, A to B. Okay, single branch. Like this. This is a 5 ohm. This is a 10 ohm. Okay. Applied potential. This is A. And this is B. Okay. Like this. 6 ohm. That is uh, the redrawing. Okay. Right. Understanding or not? Girls. Understanding? Is that all? Response. Okay. Now, so here you see these two things are already in series. How much? These two things are in series conversion. Okay, since these two things are in series conversion, this is one, this is two, this is three, this is four. Okay, so R12. R1 plus R2. Okay, so this is four ohm plus eight ohm. So R12. How much you are getting? So 12 ohm. 12 ohm. Right? Okay. Next, 3 and 4. So, R, 3, 4. So, this becomes R, 3, and this becomes R, 4. So, how much? 5 ohm plus 10 ohm. So, R, 3, 4 is equal to 15 ohm. 
Now these two things are in parallel operation. Defective resistance. Okay, so R12 into R34 divided by R12 plus R34. R12 plus R34. But okay, so R12 is how much? Oh. This is 50. Okay, 12 plus 15, 27. 12 plus 15, 27. Okay, so four table, four times, nine times. Four table, five times, three times. So 20 by 3 ohm. That is the effective resistance of the circuit. Effective current we will find out now. Effective current. Okay, so this is here, of course, since these two things are R. Okay, in parallel, okay, this is the effective current we need not calculate directly. So we can go for, okay, so this is here potential. Understood? Otherwise, so this you calculate and keep it aside. Okay, so because the verification for verification purposes it will be useful. So V by R. So V is how much is 6? Okay, so how much? 18 by 20. Okay, oh, so add here. So this is effective current. That is effective current. Okay, now look at this R. Ah, so since these two things are in parallel operation, same potential will be the process. And what about the potential will be this offered by you know, the battery? Same potential across this and across that. So V12 is equal to how much? V12, V34. Okay, so let's look at this. So here I am writing. Ah, so V12 is equal to how much? V12. That should be equal to V34. So this is 6 volt. Okay, guys? Is that all? Yes or no? Understood? Okay, now what is the current across 12? I12. V12 by R12. Okay, 6 by. R12 is how much? Four. So I12 is equal to 0 0.5 ampere. Since 1 and 2 are in series combination, same current flows. Okay, therefore I1 is equal to 0 0.5 ampere. And even I2 is also equal to 0 0.5 ampere. 0 0.5 ampere and 0 0.5 ampere. Okay, now coming to this 3 4, I 3 4, I 3 4, how much? B 3 4 divided by R 3 4. R 3 4. Okay, so B 3 4, how much? 6 4. R 3 4, how much? R 3 4, 15. Okay, so this becomes a 2 by 5. 0 0.4 ampere. So again, since the 3 and 4 are connected in series combination, so I3 is equal to 0 0.4 ampere and even I4 is also equal to 0 0.4 ampere. Understood? Okay, now let's see here. So 1, 2, if you have to take 1 and 2 are in series combination, potential splits. V1 is equal to how much? V1 is equal to I1 R1. So V1 is equal to I1 is how much? 0 0.5. R1 is how much? 4. So V1 is equal to 2 volt. V1 is equal to 2 volt. Right? V2. V2 is equal to how much? So I2 into R2. Therefore V2 is equal to I2 is how much? Same current. 0 0.5. And what is R2? R2. This is A4. Okay. 4 volt. 2 volt and 4 volt. 2 volt and 4 volt. And V1 plus V2, how much? 2 volt plus 4 volt, 6 volt. V12 is how much? 6 volt. V12 is how much? 6 volt. Very good. Like that. Okay. Yes. Understood? Okay. Now, <clears throat> like this. Okay. This is, yes, you keep on practicing the number of times the speed increases, then with no time you will be able to do that. With no time, you will be able to do that, right? Okay, the people who have completed it. Here, P by Q is not equal to Q by uh, R by S. 
d by q is not equal to r by s. Then how will you find out? Current passing through each resistor. Kirchhoff's law. Thank you. 
Yes. Not again. Cannot be ignored. Okay, so in such cases, okay, so again, so one more thing there is a here potential applied across this PQ. 
How much? Four volt. Four volt. Okay. So this is four volt battery. Four volt battery. Right? Now, how to solve this? Morning, I told you that's one shortcut technique. Can we apply that shortcut technique over here? You can't apply it. Because if at all you want to apply that shortcut technique, there must be one common junction. But here, what is the common junction here? No, sir. No, 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 no. I want to apply shortcut anyhow. Okay. So if at all you want to so particular, you want to apply the shortcut term, then you have to go for star and the delta. So star delta connection you have to do. That becomes a shortcut for this case. Morning, that node. Okay, point I have given you know. So that method will not be applicable for this. Because there is no common okay junction. There is no common junction for both of this. Okay. So this here. So first, okay, our conventional approach that is uh, Kirchhoff's loss. You need to apply Kirchhoff's loss. Okay. Now okay, this here you see the moment you open the key, so the electric current passes over here like this. Okay. So let I be the electric current. So through this electric current I1 is passing. So through this electric current I2 is passing. So I1 is going this side. For that I1 again. So this becomes I3 you take. This becomes I4 you take. Okay. So I3 is coming this side. I2 is coming this side. Okay. I2, I3 both of things will combine together in the form of I5. It goes. I5 is coming this side, I4 is coming this side, I4, I5, both things will combine to that, it will be in the form of I. Ultimately, so in the form of I, the electric current will be reaching the negative terminal. Negative terminal. Now, applying Kirchhoff's first law. So, Kirchhoff's current law, it's different to apply. So, what are the junctions over here? So, first junction is P. Yeah, P, what's happening? I is equal to I1 plus I2. The second junction is yes. Yet yes, I1 splits into I3 plus I4. Okay. And the third junction is uh, this R. Yet R, what's happening? Ah, so I2 and I3, these two things will combine together and in the form of I5. So the electrical passes. In the form of I5, the electric current passes. Okay, now there's a here, at the junction Q, there's a different on take. Ah, so I4, I5, which is in the form of I. I4 and I5, which is in the form of, okay, I. Now, how many possible loops can be taken in this regard? Tell how many, how many we can take? Three. Three. What are they? The first loop is not P, yes, R, P. This is one possible loop. And the second loop is yes, R, Q, yes. And one more possible loop, okay, P, R. Ah. Okay, P, so this is P, Q, R, S. Okay, this is P, this is Q, U. Right? P, P, U, Q, R, P. There is one more. This one. Okay. So these are the three possible loops that we have taken. These are the three possible loops that we have taken. Right. Now, first you take PSRP loop. Loop PSRP. PSRP. Now P to yes, yes to R, R to P. You are moving. That's why. So that's what your direction. Okay. Electric current direction is also right. Okay. Electric current I1 is passing from P to yes means here positive, here negative. And even your direction is okay. So P yes. P to yes. Means you are moving towards a negative. Lower potential. Point. Negative. Okay. So negative. Okay, so to I1. Okay, next, yes to R, you are also moving, but the current also is the same. Current is moving from yes to R, you will say yes becomes positive, R becomes negative. 
You are moving towards the negative potential. Lower potential. So potential path is negative. Minus 10 I3. Next, R to P you are moving. But current is still from P to R. Okay, so this is positive, this is negative. But you are moving from R to P. Means of positive. Yes. Okay, so this is one I do. That should be equal to zero. That should be equal to zero. Okay. Now, ah, so this is a two I one plus ten I three is equal to I two. Is equal to I two. Yes. Okay. So keep the equation. The I three we will be adjusting. According to the remaining equations that we are going to get. Okay, now this is one equation. People assign. Now look at the second loop, yes R Q S. Yes, R Q S. Okay, yes to R. Yes to R. You are a direction, you are a movement, but current also is the same direction. Positive, negative. You are moving towards the lower direction, negative, potential power. Minus 10 I3. Okay, R to Q, you are moving. Okay, current also is in the same direction. Negative. 3 I5. Okay, so Q to yes. Q to yes. Ah, Q to yes. Ah, what is Q to yes? Yes. Okay, find I5. Okay, so 10 I3 plus 3 I5 is equal to 5 I4. 5 I4. Now let us take the third loop. Okay, so what is the third loop over here? Ah, there is a PT, P2T, P2U, P2T, no resistance. P2U, okay. Higher to lower you are going. Higher to lower you are going. Minus 4. Okay. So U to Q. Okay. No resistance. Q to R. Q to R. Okay. There is potential drop. Positive. Okay. 3 I 5. Next. R to P. Positive. Okay. I 2. Is equal to zero. Okay, now ah, so this is here three I five plus I two is equal to four. All right? This is wrong. Understood? Okay. So look at this three I five. Here also three I five. Okay, so in the place of this 3 I5, 4 minus I2. 4 minus I2. So look at this 3 I5, 4 minus I2. This is the equation 1, this is the equation 2, and this is the equation 3. From the equation 3, I got 3 I5. This 3 I5 substitute in the equation 2. Then what will you get? 10 I3 plus 4 minus I2 is equal to 5 I4. Okay. 4 I4. Right? Now this equation is in the form of I3, I2, I4. I3, I2, I4. Right? Okay. Now from the first equation, okay. So this here, I2 is there. I2 is there. Understand? From the first equation, I2 is there. That I2 value, if you substitute here, this complete equation will be in terms of I1 and I3. Understand? Yes or no? I1 and I3. Okay. Now, there's an I1 and I3. But I4 is there. That I4. So look at this. I2 value 
value I will substitute from here. 10 I3 plus 4 minus I2 value to I1 minus 10 I3. Okay, is equal to 5 I4. 10 I3, 10 I3. Okay, so 4 minus ah, this is going the side. 2 I1 plus 5 I4 is equal to 4. Now, Three, three variables are there in all these equations. These are three variables so I brought into two variables. I brought into two variables. I1 and I4. I1 and I4. So this becomes one more equation. Equation 4. Equation 4. Keep it aside like this. Now, okay. I1, I4 now. I1, I4. I1, I4. I1, I4. Yes, I3 is equal to I1 minus I4. I3 is equal to I1 minus I4. I3, I1, I4. I1, I4. I3, I3 is here. Got it? Okay. So here you substitute. Understood? So if you have that I3 value, if you substitute here, this complete equation will be in terms of I1, I4, I2. Understood? Yes or no? Okay. I2. I1, I4, I2. Understood? Okay. So one variable. Okay. So this is you need to take from one of the, these, these things. Like that, if you substitute, you will be getting this type of equation. Understood? Okay, so in this type of, okay, in this particular case, you will come across three, three variables in the beginning. But three variables, the solution is not possible, no. So you need to convert into two variables. You need to convert into two variables. Got it? Okay, so this is the actual procedure. The actual procedure. Okay, so if at all you want to save the time, if at all you want to go faster, then, okay, so here, in this, so what is there? There are two deltas. Okay, so I have given you five rules. Did you remember? Did you remember? Five rules. What is the first rule? Did you remember star delta transformation, sir? Forgot. Huh? Did you remember? Star delta transformations. Star delta. Sahana, are you there? So where I was teaching? Okay. So the star delta transformations. What are the five rules? First of all, you need to identify any series combination is there, any parallel combination is there. Okay. So if at all you come across any series or any parallel, immediately you have solved it, you have finished. That is the rule number one. If at all you come across any two deltas, any two deltas. Understood? You solve any one data, any one of the data. Finish. That will give you a solution. In each and every step, again, rule number one, you have checked. Rule number one, you have checked. After applying the rule number two, okay, the complete figure gets simplified. In that simplified means second stage. In that second stage, again, rule number one, you have to apply. You have to see whether anything is in series or parallel. Okay, by chance, if any series combination or parallel combination is visible, finish. You have to go for their itself from solution case. Okay, now, rule number three. What is that? If at all, any three deltas are there, any three deltas are there, okay, then for those three deltas, there is a common star. That common star we have solved. Finish. Answer will come. While doing that, again, we have to apply the rule number one. Always rule number one, we have to check. You need to stage, remember. Okay. Now, rule number four. If at all any four deltas are there, solve any two deltas which are opposite. 
opposite the delta sigma sub. That is rule number four. Got the point? Okay. So again, rule number one, you have to apply. Next, rule number five. What is the rule number five? If at all more than four, means six, eight, seven, like that. Complicated. Okay. Then you need to solve the deltas which are alternate. One after other, not continuous. But it? so these are okay the rules. Okay, so this is even the star delta also we will revise briefly because in this type of problems that only we need. Got the matter? Okay, now ah, star and delta, star and delta transformations, star and delta transformations. Okay, so actually, this is a water ball. The combination of resistors that we come across in this current electricity, the combination of resistors, okay, so this is this here. This we have seen only six combination and parallel combination. Now, we need to star combination, delta combination. These are, these are also combinations. Okay, so star combination represents what? What is the shape? This is star. Okay? This is star. Okay. This is star. Okay. So this is the resistance R1. This is the resistance R2. And this is the resistance R2. Delta. Delta means what? That is a delta. But okay, that is a delta. Right? Okay. Now this in this delta. Okay. So this here you see, this is some okay. So one, this is two, this is three, you can come. Okay. Right. Okay. So so star to delta, if it are you transfer. What do you do? Star to delta. Star to delta. Next, delta to star. Star to delta, delta to star. Hmm? Nothing. Huh? Everything went out. What does mean? Remember? Ah, so this is star to delta. Star to delta in the sense of, okay. So here, you will be drawing one pen. These two things you need to add. These two things you need to add. These two things you need to add. Okay. Yes. Right. Okay. Then what will be the resistance over here? What will be the resistance over here? Okay. This is due to this R1 and R2. This is R1 to IC. R1 to IC. Right. Okay. So this R1 to this, how do you write? Ah, so this is ah, R1 into R2 divided by R1 R1 plus R2 plus R1 total systems. Okay, next. So here this is R1, R3. So whatever the systems so that will be here, this is R13. So R13 is equal to how much? That is R1 into R3 divided by R1 plus R2 plus R. Okay, next. So this is, this is the branch which is covered by 2 and 3, R2, R3. So this becomes R2. This becomes R2. Okay, so R2, 3 is equal to R2 into R3 divided by R1 plus R2 plus R3. R1 plus R2 plus R3. Understood? R1 plus R2 plus R3. Right? Okay. These are the formulas. Okay. Now, from delta to star, if you you want to finish. Delta to star transformation. This is a star to delta transformation. 
delta to star transformation. So what about the delta that is given here? Okay. Right. Okay. Ah, delta to star transformation. So you need to bring out one star of here. Yes. You need to bring out star. Okay. Now one or two. What will be the resistance over here? Ah. ah, yes, yes, yes. <clears throat> These things are applicable for us. R1, R2 by R1, R2, R3. Okay. So we have taken, okay, this is opposites. We have taken opposites. So look at this. This is one, this is two now. Okay. So this becomes R1. There is R12. R12 is equal to the product of these two things divided by sum of all of things. Okay, next R13. Yes, this becomes R13. So, product of these two things divided by okay, sum of all of things. Next, 23. This becomes R23. R2 into R. This R2, R3 divided by okay, so the sum of all these three things. Okay? Understood? Yes? Okay. Now, now, we will apply this delta to star transformation in that problem. Okay? We will apply this delta to star transformation in that problem. First, this here, this you wrote it down, the people who have forgotten. The people who have forgotten this, okay, you just note it down, okay, then we will take up this, then we will take up this, okay, so this diagram once again I will draw, Okay, this is 2 ohm, this is 5 ohm, this is 10 ohm, this is 1 ohm, this is 3 ohm. Okay, the applied potential between these two points is forward, 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 right? Now, look at the one. Okay, rule number one. In the given network, if there is any series or parallel, you need to simplify it. Do you see any series combination or any parallel combination with this? So, rule number one cannot be applied with this point. Rule number two, if there are two deltas, solve any one delta. Okay, that if there is some in delta means, you need to convert this one into stop. Delta to star transformation. Okay, look at this. One star you need to draw. Okay, right? Now, here, resistance 1, resistance 2, resistance 3. So, what is the value of resistance 1? 2 into 1 by. 2 plus 1 plus 2. Is that correct? Yes or no? Okay. So this is 2 by. Okay. Right? So what is the value of 2? 2 into 10. 2 plus 1 plus 2. So 20 by 30. So what is the value of 3? Ah. So this is here, 3. So 1 into 10 divided by 2 plus 1 plus 10, 10 by 30. So these are the values of 1, 2, 3. Now you need to redraw the figure. 
Okay, you need to be so redraw the circuits. How? See, by means of this one, this has gone. This also has gone. Only one is left out. What is the value? Two by three. Where is two? So what is the value? Where is three? What is the value? Okay, so given ah, this uh, 10 is also called. And what is the remaining portion of the circuits? 5 ohm is in the punch. 3 ohm is in the punch. Now, rule number 1. Here is series or parallel combination if they are there, you have to go for that. Okay, do you see any series combination and any series of parallel combination over here? Okay, so these two things are in series. These two things are in series. Okay, so this is 2 by 13. Okay, what is this? 20 by 13 plus 5. Okay, 85 by 30. So 85 by 30. Okay, so 10 by 13 plus 3. Ah, 49 by 30. Okay. That's okay. Now rule number one again. Parallel combination. Parallel combination. Okay. So what is this? Huh. So 3 is 1 by R. Okay. So 13 by 85. 13 by 49. Understood? Yes, sir. Okay. So this is, you need to take the against him of this two. Okay. So 1 by R. So this is the same, sir. Okay. Okay. So there are no common game. No common table. Any common table here? Yeah. No common table. So, 85, 13, 13. Okay. So, 1 by R. So, 13 into 49 plus 85. Okay. 134. 85 into 49. So this is this R. Okay. What is this? This value will come. This value will come. Okay. Next term, this and this. Both the things are in series function. This plus this. Understand? Yes or no? Like this. So this will be the shortcut. Okay, by taking three different loops, uh, establishing the equations like that. Uh, but again, okay, however perfect you are in solving the algebraic equations, it will take some time. It will take some time. Okay, that's why right. this is the best. Thing. This is the best. Thing. Ah, so this effective resistance is coming now. Effective resistance. Okay. Oh, this one. So by means of this effective resistance, effective current. Okay, so effective current. From the effective current, okay, so series and parallel functions. If you you take this, it is not given actually. It is the resultant of this. And if at all, in this branch current you find out that will be the current which is same through this through this. Understood? Sir, no. If at all, okay, so 49 by 13, that is not uh, the actual given value in the problem. This is the resultant of this two. 
If at all you find out current over here, that will be same across this and across this. Okay, now current has come here. Say 2 ampere, for example. What is the potential? Potential V is equal to I into R. 2 ampere into this. 10 by 30. Okay, so this is one more. This is a step to the head of the city. From bottom to top, you have to go. Right? From bottom to top, first you found out the current over here. This is the current which is same in the conditions. What is the step which is before this? This. Perfect. Okay, so that you need to apply for this. Like this. Okay, usually, okay, so in this type of there's a here a network, there's a complicated network, so okay, so potentials, all the things will not be asked. All right? Okay, so there's a here maximum current and effective resistance. Maximum current and effective resistance. Okay? Like this. Okay. I will give you, okay, one more. Okay, this is two deltas we have taken now. Three deltas case situation I will give you. That you try to solve three deltas, three deltas. Look at this. I am giving you one situation. I am giving you one situation. Okay, so look at this. What is the situation it comes under? What is the situation? Okay, that comes uh, that comes under series pair normal one. Why normal one? Since I mentioned A B there. Since I mentioned A B there. Now, okay, look at this. Okay. Now what is the situation? Now which are in the series and which are in that? No two resistors are in series, no two resistors are in that. So no. Okay. Now how many deltas you come across over here? Three deltas. Understood? Three deltas. Right? Okay. How will you solve this? Can you try? Try? Amma? Ah, well, so. Ah, well, so. Huh? Start to delta. Huh? Delta to star or star to delta? Star to delta. Okay. So this is R1. So Okay, now ah, this R12. Okay, so R12, R1 plus R2 plus R12 divided. Okay, this is R2. R3. R3. Okay, divided by. Okay, opposites. Opposites. 
Okay. This R two three. R two plus R three plus R one by R one by four. This R one three. The third side. R one plus R three plus opposite R two by four. Okay, so R one two is equal to R one plus R two plus R three by total resistance. I have told now. Okay, so that is one approach. And if at all for each and every thing total resistance, if at all you want to apply it to becomes lengthy, then there is one more formula also that you can use. Of course, that formula also is obtained by simplifying this one. So what is that? R one two, R one plus R two, R one two divided by R three. Give the thing also is another formula. Okay, so go for this one. R one plus R two, R one plus R two plus R one two by R three. Opposite. Huh? Which is what they say. But this so this gives you this is smooth. This is this is smooth. Understand? Okay. So in the same way, R two three. This you follow. So R two plus R two R three divided by opposite. Okay. Ah. R one R two. Ah. R one two. Ah, R one two means R one into R two. R one two means I need to write R one into R two. R one into R two. Okay. Yes. How much? Thirty six by seven. What is that total effective? But uh, one more thing. This so here you have to do one thing. So look at this. In this transformation, you will come across one more thing. See, look at the board. This is the star that you are getting. This star you are converting into data. This is the data that you are going to get. Okay, beyond that, one more data is there, no? Okay. So what is the delta you got now? 
This is the delta W option. Okay. So, okay. Ah. So, what is the value? What is the value? 1, 2. R1 plus R2 plus R1 into R2 divided by opposites. Okay. Ah. What is the value? 4 plus 4 plus 4 into 4 divided by 4. Twelve. This also will be 12. This also will be 12. Okay. But one more delta. What is that? 2, 2, 2. Is that all? Right? Okay, so what is this? Okay, these two. Now, what are the points? These points are very, very important. In between these two points, so you are going to find out ultimately. Okay, so these two things, these two things, these two things. So, what will be this value now? 2 into 12 divided by 2 plus 12. 2 into 12 divided by 40. 12 by 7. Now, series. Yeah. 